Okay, here we are again. We're gonna make a few more aluminum bronze ingots. Here's the one we just made. It is quite shiny. I polished it up. Looks really nice. Aluminum bronze doesn't tarnish, so it's gonna stay like this for a while. I didn't do anything with the sides, and I cleaned up some of the rough spots where it was poured. I left this area, that looks cool. To compare it, here's copper poured a few weeks ago. This was bright and shiny and already looks like an old penny. But I tried to get this to be about at least five pounds and uh, it's just shy of five pounds, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. So, we used this mold to make this. Next, we're gonna make some using these two smaller, smaller ones. So about two and a half pounds each is what I'm shooting for. All right, so here's all our metal. We're going to melt. This is all properly weighed. So this will be 11% uh, aluminum and 89% copper aluminum. This one is already made. This is, is aluminum bronze. All this copper is from television. This is, uh, I think, two or three televisions. All right. Baby powder. You always need that. You never know when you get chafing. This is going to be perfect. Yeah, here we go. Nice. I like to use a lot. I don't like I don't like it when they stick. The other day I'm, I uh, casted a picture frame out of aluminum and I had to make the mold for that probably at least eight times because it kept sticking. Okay. Okay, I just used this, so there's some harder chunks I gotta break up. Oh, it's like perfect consistency. So you can tell if it's right. Your, your green sand, you make a fist, squeeze it, stays together, and then breaks apart. It's a little too sticky though, that's why you Need plenty of talcum powder. I tend to work slow, but I'm thorough. And it's okay to be slow because it's just a hobby and you don't want to stress out. So I'm just making ingots with this aluminum bronze now, but sometime in the near future, I would like to make a hammer with it because not only is it a beautiful alloy, but uh, it's really hard and it can hold up to being a hammer.
and see if we can take it out. I previously put these screw holes in just for this reason. Alright, that's gonna be a problem right there. We don't want little bits of sand falling in our mold. Nice. No sand stuck to it. <sighs> All right, time to get some melting going on. Okay, here we go. spoon to carve little access as my neighbor is weed whacking in the rain. the other these are just how I imagined Here we go. As you can see, there was turbulence here where I poured down, but that'll buff right out. All right, and I'll clean these up. These are all aluminum bronze. So these are about as close to 89% copper and 11% aluminum that I could get. So I made two coin-like ones, just some discs.
it turned out pretty nice. So I left the sides the way they were and just polished down the rough spots. So I'm thinking I probably could have gotten these pits out, but I would have just removed way too much material. Plus, you know, that's like I've been saying, this part of the charm of uh, custom made molds and sand casting with uh, hand poured ingots. So, all right. Hope you liked them and we're gonna move on to stamping. Hey everybody and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my videos, then please like and subscribe to my channel, Geek Guy MJ. New content is coming out soon.